So this is our brand new STEM lab for fifth grade. We wanted to bring in a new lab that concentrated on weather, weather events, natural disasters. So we thought hurricanes would have been a great start, especially living here in Florida. So this is a brand new lab where they're actually constructing homes that could withstand uh, various categories of winds and hurricanes. So the students, they construct their house, they set their house farthest away, kind of like a cat one. They test it for five seconds. If it passes five seconds, they check it off. They move it closer. So the closer they get to the uh, leaf blower, the stronger the winds, the category. If their house fails, if the roof blows off or the house falls over or something, they have to go back to the drawing board, do some problem solving, creative thinking, and improve their home. I learned that hurricanes have very, very strong wind and it can affect houses and destroy them. It helps me learn because you can see what's going on. I like it because we get to do things that we probably would never get to do. I like building things and it's like fun to craft. Help us learn because we actually get to see it with our own eyes and get to create it like just how like they would do it in the real world. I think one of the most important reasons for having STEM during the school day is that all of our students have access to the curriculum. It's not just an after school program. So, so far this year we've really seen an increase in hands-on activities. Um, our student engagement is through the roof. The kids are excited about the STEM activities. In doing a STEM challenge, I love seeing that they're engaged and excited about it, and they don't even always realize that they're learning until we come back and reflect at the end and say, hey, did you realize you were using multiplication and division? Or did you realize you were applying what you just learned about climate? Um, so as a teacher, knowing that they're excited about it um, and to see students engaged in the content in a way I haven't seen before.